Dear students, let us do a problem on the state model for the electrical network. So, the question is obtain the state model for the electrical network which is shown in the figure by choosing the minimal number of state variables. So, this is a circuit diagram consisting of L1, L2, Z, R1 and R2. So, electrical network contains R, L and C. So, here the input is C of T and we have to choose the state variable method to solve this, to get the state model, okay. So, first of all, we know that what is the state model? State model means it consisting of state equation and also the output equation. So, what is state equation? State equation x dot of t is equal to a into x of t plus b into u of t. Similarly, output equation y of t equal to c into x of t plus d into u of t. That is your equation. You need state equation as well as output equations. Okay. So, what is the first step in solving this electrical network is that we have to identify the energy source elements. What are the energy source elements here? L1. Energy storage elements are L1, L2 and C which are energy storage elements. So, first of all, we have to choose the state variables first. So, we will choose the state variables as the voltage or current in the energy storage element. Suppose, in the case of inductor, we are taking the current as the state variable and in the case of capacitor, we will take the voltage as the state variable. So, here we can choose the current through the inductance that is I1 and I2. See here I1 is the current through the inductor L1, I2 is the current through the inductor L2 and voltage across the capacitor is Vc and these three are the state variables because in the first step we have discussed that state variable are chosen as the voltage or current in the energy storage elements. Also in this step we have to choose the directions of the currents and polarity of the voltage. Okay, So let us see the current direction is chosen as I1 goes through here. And I2 is like this and Vc is plus or minus Vc, okay. So, current will flow in this manner and also in this manner. That is our assumed direction. So, the best choice of the state variables in electrical network are the currents and voltage in, in, in the energy storage element, elements. So, this is the current and voltage. So, we have to represent this current and voltage in terms of state variables. So, here there are three state variables. So, we can represent x1, x2 and x3. Oh, so, these are the three state variables and x1 corresponding to I1 and x2 corresponding to I2, x3 corresponding to Vc. So, the current through the L1 is x1, current through the L2 is x2 and the voltage across the capacitor Vc that is equal to x3. So, let us do the start solving the problem that is we want to represent the state model. So, first of all we can use KVL or KCL. Let us mark the node here as A and we can apply the Kirchhoff's current law that is all the incoming current will some of the incoming current will be equal to some of the outgoing current that is the KCL rule. So when we are going to this node you can see all currents are outgoing currents right here the current through the capacitor uh, will be downwards so these all currents are outgoing currents so we we have to write this current I1 plus this current I2 plus the current through this capacitor will be equal to 0 because there is no incoming current. So, we can write I1 plus I2 plus what is the current through the capacitor? Current through the capacitor is equal to C into dVc by dt equal to 0. So, this is our KCL equation and in the second step we have to substitute for this physical variables by state variable. What is I1? I1 is x1. What is I2? I2 is x2. What is Vc, Vc is xc. So, instead of this quantity, we will get x1 plus x2 plus c into dx3 by dt equal to 0. Okay. So, our equation will become x1 plus x2 plus c into dvc by dt is dx3 by dt. What is derivative of x3? X, we can represent it by x3 dot. So, x3 dot will be equal to 0. So, we can first write the differential equation that is what is the differential term here? That is x3 dot is the differential term. So, c x3 dot equal to minus x1 plus minus x2. So, x3 dot will be equal to 1 by minus 1 by c x1 minus 1 by c x2. So, that is the first differential equation. Okay. Also, 
we have uh, two sections of this network see this is one loop and this is another loop okay so we can use kirchhoff's voltage law in the closed path which is shown in this figure okay see this is a closed path that is first section first loop and here let us see the current is here here the current is marked as coming out of this a so the current is marked like this so we are assuming current is flowing in this manner so here is plus minus here will be plus minus and here also we have marked it as plus minus in the previous case okay so when we are applying kirchhoff's voltage to low to this closed path we will get it what, what is kirchhoff's voltage low the algebraic sum of voltages around a closed path will be equal to zero and here it will be this is starting from here we can write it as minus l1 into di1 by dt see in the case of inductor voltage across inductor will be equal to l into di by dt here we are representing l1 into di1 by dt and here it is minus i1 into r1 and this is minus et and this will be plus okay plus vc equal to zero that is our kirchhoff's voltage law by rearranging the equation we will get e of t plus i1 r1 plus l1 into di1 by dt equal to vc and we can also substitute our state variable representation e of t is e of t itself that is here we will represent it as a u of t we know that in the case of control system the input is represented by u of t right here we are taking it as e of t and instead of i1 we can represent x1 that is x1 into r1 instead of di1 by dt we can represent x1 dot so l1 into x1 dot will be equal to next vc is x3 so this is another equation so we know that u of t equal to e of t so we can represent it as u plus x1 into r1 plus l1 into x1 dot equal to x3 and here differential equation is obtained by isolating this term so l1 into x1 dot equal to x3 minus x1 into r1 minus u and x1 dot can be represented as minus 1 by l1 into r1 into x1 plus 1 by l1 into x3 minus 1 by l1 into c so this is our second differential equation next we have to write the differential equation corresponding to the third loop second loop see here there is another loop also which is this loop so that loop is represented here this loop so here uh, we see polarity is plus minus and here current flows in this manner so the polarity will be plus minus plus minus okay so we can write by applying the kirchhoff's voltage law in the, across the closed path that the voltage across this one and voltage across this one and voltage across this one sum will be equal to zero what is voltage across this vc is the voltage okay so we can write it as vc this is plus and this is minus minus l into di2 by dt minus i2 into r2 equal to zero rearranging the equation we will get vc equal to l2 into di2 by dt plus i2 into r2 so this is another equation what is vc we can say vc will be the output quantity okay sorry vc what is uh, vc vc is voltage across c that is x3 and instead of di2 by dt i2 is x2 so this is will be equal to x2 dot so x3 will be equal to l2 into x2 dot plus what is i2 i2 is equal to x2 x2 into r2 so rearranging this as in the form of differential equation that is l2 into x2 dot will be equal to minus x2 into r2 plus x3 here x2 dot will be equal to minus r r2 by l2 x2 plus 1 by l2 x3 so now we have third equation so we have a three state variables and now we have three equations we can write all the differential equations together so the three equations are x1 x, x1 dot x2 dot and x3 dot and these equations will be in the form of this x1 dot is a function of state variables and input this is function of state variables alone this is a function of state variable alone so we can represent the state equation by in the matrix form in the left side x1 dot x2 dot x3 dot constitute the column matrix and in the right side first we have to write a into x of t plus b into u of t okay here there is only one input that is u that is represented here and the differential equation contain has a three third order that is equal to x1 dot x2 of dot x3 dot three differential equations are there so we are representing the first orders of uh, first order uh, differential equation first, uh, first derivative is represented in this manner next we have to enter the a matrix that a matrix will contains the entries instead of x1 we can write minus r1 by l1 and 
and second term x2 is not here so 0 is represented and third term is 1 by L1 that is represented here next x1 dot is absent here x1 is absent here so we can put 0 x2 term is minus r2 by L2 and x3 term is 1 by L2 next term is x1 is minus 1 by c x2 is minus 1 by c and x3 term is absent so 0 is put here next we will put state variable matrix x1 s2 and x3 and that will be added to what is the u value u value is minus 1 by l1 here u is absent so we will put 0 here also u is absent we will put 0 next matrix is u okay so you have to write this state equation by remembering the state equation for the physical variable that is x dot of t equal to a into x of t plus b into u of t that is our representation right you have gone through that okay and what is a and b you know that eh? what is a a will be equal to the system matrix and its order will be n by n here that will be x of t is of order n by 1 that is here it is 3 by 1 and this a matrix will be of order n by n that is 3 by 3 will be its value and b matrix is the input matrix that is here and its order will be n by m and here u of t is of order m by 1 and here m is equal to 1 m here m by 1 that is m is equal to 1 and so we can write this b matrix that is equal to input matrix and which is of order n by m that is equal to 3 by 1 so you should remember that order and uh, the representation so this is the state equation representation okay so what you are asked to find out is the state model in the case of state model we need state equations and output equations and so next we have to represent the output equations let us see so in order to write the uh, output equations let us choose the voltage across the resistance as output variable and the output variables are denoted by y1 and y2 see here there are different resistors R1 and R2 and we are representing the output will be the voltage or current across this R1 and R2. So we are representing the output variable here as since there are two resistors we are representing Y1 equal to I1 into R1 similarly Y2 equal to I2 into R2 which are the voltage I1 into R1 means voltages okay. So voltage across the resistance will be taken as a output variables here. So we are representing Y1 will be equal to I1 R1 and Y2 will be equal to I2 into R2 okay. So, we have the representation, we know that x1, we have taken what is x1, uh, sorry i1, what is i1, i1 equal to x1, right? This is our representation, i2 I equal to x2, i1 equal to x1 and vc equal to x3, okay? So, instead of this x1, instead of this i1, we can represent y1 equal to x1 into r1, see that is here and y2 will be equal to x2 into r2 so y2 equal to x2 into r2 so this is our output vectors y1 and y2 and we can represent this in the case of matrix form so we will get matrix form as y1 y2 see in the case of matrix form output equation will be y will be equal to y of t will be equal to c into x of t plus d into u of t here you can see that the output does not depends upon the input quantity it only depends upon the state variable x okay so we can represent y1 y2 will be equal to what is x1 term in the y, y1 term that is r1 and x2 term is absent here so we will put a 0 here and next y2 term is x2 into r2 here x1 term is absent so we will put 0 here and x2 term is r2 and next term is this is c and next term is state variable that is x1 and x2 here the order of this matrix is determined um, from the order of the C matrix will be dependent upon the order of the output vector. Here output vector is of order 2 by 1 right. So this will be what is its value? This is equal to 2 by C. Uh, this Y will be of a P by 1 order. We know that P by 1 order that is P is equal to here 2. And this C matrix will be of order P by N. And so we will get 2 by okay here okay next here there is no input 
terms that is input uh, input uh, terms in the case of i1 and y2 so we are not representing plus either there will be plus d into u of t term but here in the equation there is no input um, input so we are not representing that okay so this is the output equation so we can um, write together the state model we can add a sentence that is the state model will be equal to the state equation you can represent this and the output equation is this one so this is the way we are form, um, getting the state model for the electrical network so go, go through the problem once again and you will get the idea. Thank you.